On December 9, 2009, a spectacular vision took place over the night skies of northern Norway and was witnessed by hundreds of people as far away as in the neighboring country of Sweden. Many pointed to the northern lights as an explanation, but they looked nothing like Aurora Borealis. Let's take a closer look. Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Code Blue, dedicated to all things unidentified, brought to you by bluebook.tv. I am Thor and thank you for listening. Today we're talking about the spiral over Norway anomaly. At the pre-dawn hour of December 9th, 2009, a white trail was seen spiraling into the sky above the horizon, directly due east from the vantage point of the northern Norwegians. It was regular, continuous, and it lasted almost three minutes. First off, it should not be confused with the lights phenomena repeatedly observed in the Norwegian Valley of Hestalen, dating back to the pre-World War II era and continuing to this day. This was something completely different. Eyewitnesses photographing and filming the event could neither comprehend the distance nor the altitude of the phenomena, but they kept filming, thankfully, and that's why we have the evidence. Investigating unexplained phenomena requires integrity and adherence to the evidence, because we're not in pursuit of the spectacular, we're purely in the business of pursuing the truth, and we should do it with integrity. Because when we do, the unexplained phenomena with explanations of otherworldly origin means we've exhausted explaining it away by other means, natural, scientific, technological, or human. So the first attempt is to look for natural explanation, what it could have been. Northern Lights? Locals deny this explanation quickly because they've observed Northern Lights for hundreds of years, and this looked nothing like it. Was it an unusual meteorite ricocheting of the upper atmosphere, perhaps, back into space? For that explanation to be true, this object was traveling at the wrong angle and in the wrong direction, rising into the night sky from the horizon up instead of bouncing down and then up again. Human explanation? Was it perhaps a long-range missile or a space launch? Did it have a military explanation? As difficult and frustrating it can be to get confirmations on truth from military authorities, US and NATO did in fact deny this had anything to do with them. And shortly thereafter, Russia denied it as well. Without a plausible explanation readily available, UFO enthusiasts, and I deliberately don't say researchers or professional ufologists, the UFO enthusiasts came forward and offered theories about wormholes, gateways to other dimensions, or perhaps a not yet understood manifestation of interstellar travel. Clearly, Without a logical explanation, speculative theories multiplied. The next thing to do is to look at the evidence, footage and comparable phenomena in the history of recordings to see if this vision was in fact new and unprecedented. As an example, 1800 rocket missiles have been launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California alone since 1958. Most of them took place at night, some during the day, only a handful were launched at dawn or dusk, and just a couple have resulted 
in what's called the twilight effect. Let me explain. A SpaceX Falcon 9 was launched from Vandenberg on December 22, 2017, and it produced a spectacular vision, witnessed by thousands in the Los Angeles night sky. The twilight effect occurs when a missile is launched after dark or at pre-dawn hour, and when it hits the stratosphere above 50 miles, then sunlight reaches it and its vapor as its nine thrusters continue to push the vehicle with enormous output until stage two separates and a single wide nozzle takes over. Now you're approaching 60 miles altitude and the pressure and moisture inside the rocket is much greater than the thin, dry, altitude air outside. The result, when the state three rocket starts with its thrust, is the escape of carbon dioxide and water vapor rapidly expanding into the atmosphere, lit up by the sunlight, still reaching the rocket, even as the darkness of space in contrast is what earthbound witnesses observe in the background, because the sky is only blue during the day when we see sunlight reflecting off of it. Otherwise it's dark, like the night sky. This twilight effect occurs about 30 minutes before sunrise or about 30 minutes after sunset. And that's why it's rare. What would be rarer yet to see would be to observe a failed rocket launch during that time of twilight. What would a failed rocket launch during twilight look like? Just like the Russians, the Chinese and the Europeans, the US has had its fair share of failed rocket launches. Most of them, most of the time they exploded in the air or imploded upon launch. And sometimes they managed to gain altitude and speed before the catastrophic failure occurs. Ground control has means to abort such missions to avoid an uncontrolled crash at high risk to civilians and property. But sometimes, however, the rocket just does its own thing. Rockets like the Atlas V, Falcon 9, or the Russian Onyx and the Bulava, all have experienced failures in their lifetime. They all have multiple thrust nozzles, 5, 9, and as many as 12. Together, the multiple thrusters overcome the atmospheric pressure difference at maximum efficiency closer to Earth at lower altitude because they are small but a single wide thruster is preferred at a high altitude and thin atmospheric conditions to maximize propulsion efficiency. When some of the nozzles fail at stage one or two, the stabilizer can't compensate for it and the result becomes a crazy rocket, spinning madly and spiraling out of control. It is as dangerous as it looks. The problem with explaining the Norwegian spiral sighting in those terms was that in 2009, there was no recorded twilight effect launch to compare to. But now we've seen it. The failed rocket launches in addition to the twilight launches, together they guide us to what a failed high altitude stage two or three rocket launch would look like during twilight. And based on observations and the evidence, it should look just about exactly what the spiral over Norway looks like. And there you have it. Russia later came forward to admit that they had had another failed Bulava ICBM missile launched from a submarine in the White Sea of Northern Russia, headed along the northern coast of Siberia towards Kamchatka on December 9th according to a defense ministry spokesperson. Only it failed during stage two and three. The simulation is spot on, but let's recognize that it was created after the fact. Those little spin dots inside the cloud bowl, they're separating thrusters, by the way. You can literally see the second stage failure right there above the horizon from the Norwegian eyewitness point of view. And its aftermath is the spinning missile operating on limited number of thrusters. The footage 
we have examined its time, direction, location and altitude matches exactly to the failed rocket launch from the Russian nuclear submarine. As a result, we're going to have to check it up and commit to waiting some more for evidence of extraterrestrial wormholes, interstellar portals and dimensional gateways to manifest before our eyes. You can watch or listen to this and other podcasts of the Cold Blue series on Project Blue Book and BlueBook.tv. Please check it out. It's free. This has been Code Blue for all things unexplained and unidentified. Please subscribe. And each day, let's show compassion and kindness. I am Thor, and thanks for listening. See you next time.